Good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to go over the latest update and big picture on solar forcing of the Earth's atmosphere. Got a great paper this morning that adds to the mounting evidence that the sun is greatly underestimated in terms of weather dynamics. This was the paper discussing how the simulations used for all the models underestimate the real joule heating from incoming solar particles, where the real observations come in two to three times greater, 200 to 300 percent higher than the simulations which are used to exclude the sun from the climate discussion. Unlike most solar forcing pathways, which are ignored, they do at least try to measure this joule heating. The problem is that the models keep underestimating the impact, and none factor in the weaker Earth's magnetic field, which lets in even more. This 2020 paper found a significant increase in the impact just by changing the way they were compiling the data. Another paper from 2021 attempted to develop a protocol for managing that data that they believed could rectify the underestimation of those joule heating rates. But they kept finding issues, like this paper from 2022, which revealed the biggest problem yet, a 40% underestimation of that forcing during flux transfer events of plasma injected into the Earth's system. This exact same issue crept up in this 2023 paper, where they found this leads to a major underestimation of the geomagnetic forcing and induction currents, hampering the efficiency of the official space weather forecasting system. Just two months ago, this paper described how all the acknowledgement and changes made still cannot account for the underestimation of solar impact, even in the model that specifically seeks to measure the electromagnetic forcing. This is a huge and ongoing problem, and here in the paper from this morning, we see it is still a problem. It's one of the big reasons why the sun gets no credit for its impact on the atmosphere, especially as Earth's magnetic field is on the decline in the magnetic pole shift, and the sun gets in more and more. While solar irradiance measurements are well on their way to being corrected, which just happened in the last three years by allowing extreme UV and X-ray energy into the measurements as opposed to just a narrow range of UV light, the proton forcing from flux transfer events along the interplanetary magnetic field are underestimated in terms of solar joule heating impact. Solar wind and CME impact pushing Van Allen belt electrons downward also underestimated. The heating caused by the various induction electricity effects from geomagnetic storms and the auroral heat injections underestimated. All of these interact with the global electric circuit and have dramatic impacts on cloud microphysics, precipitation, heat on sunny days, lightning and storms, ocean temperatures, and more. Again, irradiance is getting fixed, we'll acknowledge that, but the vast majority of the actual solar impact on the atmosphere is left out of the models, and the joule heating they do acknowledge is real is wildly underestimated at every turn. It's still a major problem, and one that is getting worse here in the magnetic pole shift. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.